Hey lovelies. So I got a real mixed response of videos that I posted today. Um, I got a bit of negative feedback or quite a lot of negative feedback. I have deleted a lot of it. Um, but I'm going to talk about it. Um, a lot of the comments I were getting were about how it's what a parent is. That I'm a crap parent. That I should learn to deal with it. And the thing is, I have never pretended to be a perfect parent. This whole time on this app, I have never pretended to be a perfect parent. I make it clear I struggle. I make it clear I have days where I can't do it. I make it clear I rely a lot on my support system. My children stay at my mum's once a week. And then in half term, they'll stay at my mum's, at Ryan's mum's. They stay with family. They go and see people. I am not me and my kids 24 7 all day every day they go to school they come to me they go to school they come to me they go and visit other people because i can't cope and i've made that extremely clear so for the people coming in going well you obviously just can't cope you're not a good mum babes that was never the issue because i've always made that clear the issue is when mums feel like they need to express the fact they can't cope and they need to express the fact that sometimes to be a mum, you need support to do it. They feel villainised for admitting that, and that's not the way it should be. Because this is really hard, and if you're a mum with mental health, any little thing that goes wrong in a day can ruin your whole day. So having support around you is the most important thing. But if mums are scared to ask for that support, because it means admitting that we're struggling, and admitting that we're struggling means we're going to get villainised, they're not going to do it. And kids are going to suffer because mums are going to be more stressed. So surely mums admitting they need help is better for the mum and for the kid. And for the people messaging, saying how thank fuck she had that abortion. Yes, thank fuck I had that abortion. Because I knew back then what I know now. I could not cope with three. My mental health could not have coped with three, which is why I made the right choice to stay with two, to look after the children I have and not make my family bigger. So all you're doing is proving the point that I made the right choice. Because you're probably also the people that villainised me back then for doing it. But now you're here saying, thank God she did, because she's a useless mum. You're proving my point. I know I struggle. Mums struggle. But you cannot have a go at them for admitting that. Because admitting that is part of the solution. Because that is when mums can get help. If mums don't ask for help, I don't know what to say.